What else, Mary Lou? Can you tell us about Instagram? So updates? this other update is not a YouTube. It's not an Instagram update. It's a YouTube update for YouTube Shorts, and I'm like really excited about it. This came out over the last week. Uh, whenever I saw the announcement, it said it was just for iPhone users, but I have a friend who has an Android who tried it and was successful today. She had it in her app, so excellent uh, option here for the YouTube creators that also want to participate in YouTube shorts, but you know, you don't want to make new content. And that is to make a short out of videos you've already uploaded. So I'll show you where that shows up in the app. And if you don't see it, just make sure you update your app. So we're going to go to a longer uh, video that I have, right? So this is like a full length video and get this Skip the ads, skip the ads. Give it, give it the here skip. Here we go. Okay. <laughs> so up here we've got my long video. And you can only do this on the phone at this moment. So I've got with this one, do I have chapters? Nope, I didn't make the chapters for that one. Fail. Uh, here you've got a button that says create. So it's a one, two, three, the fourth button over. Also, there's the one that says clip. That's a different feature, but Give it a try, totally give it a try. But this one that says create, it's the YouTube short symbol. You're gonna tap on that and you'll see edit into a short option only available to you. So that's going to pull up your video and you can within that, if you tap in the right here, it says 15, you can make it 60 seconds just so you have room to mess with. It doesn't have to be a full 60 seconds. It could be 45, it could be seven, whatever you want. Mm -hmm. But you're just gonna scroll through and find like a part of that video that you want to share. And because it's landscape, you just need to scroll back and forth in order to, to center it where you want it to be. And then you'll press next, and then you'll go through the prompts in order to upload it. And let me show you some results that I've gotten from this, which is like really been shocking to me. So this here's from my analytics. Let me bring it up here. Where can it up here? Up here? We can see it there. Cool. Um, this is two videos out of the same video. So we've got the Aura Ring first impressions and review. That's a full length video that's 10 minutes long. From that, I took a clip using this tool that was how long? 49 seconds of just the unboxing part. And you can see the original video has 83 views, but the short got 630 and like significantly more likes. So that's where I can see they really want you to be using the shorts. And and this is where like be brave enough to post both. If somebody sees something twice, like I'm never going to call you out for posting something twice. Like I think it's fine because then we get to see it. This one was my experiment this morning. This is the same video, except one of them is one minute and one of them is a minute 30. So basically all I did was trim out the intro to the the longer video but they are the same video they're both vertical they both cover the same topic it is the same edit i just trimmed off the intro for the shorter version using the tool in the app and this is from this morning the short version has 232 views and then my other one that's uploaded regularly has six wow like, that's an incredible wow. difference it's a big number yeah and that's where I, you know, I really urge you to just be bold enough to post it twice. Post your long video, because if somebody wants to see that, it's there. Mm -hmm. But also find a snippet, and you can do multiple snippets in a video. You can make as many little clips as you want and just upload them and see what happens. I've been getting subscribers from those shorts more yeah. than I have been on my regular videos. That is incredible. That was that is that is pretty good. So, okay, so let's let's back it up a little bit. When you go to YouTube, how does that translate into So this is just YouTube. There's nothing to do with this Instagram. We're just going to leave YouTube aspect the part of it and we mm -hmm. just take a video that we have already uploaded before and if it is mm -hmm. horizontal, we can still do vertical. Yes, mm -hmm. because you just can't gonna shrink it. You just have to slide across Got it. and it, okay. it's one frame. So it's something where you have to like keep in mind mm -hmm. when you're making the video. So say with like the video we're, we're doing right now, mm -hmm. when this posts and you want to pull a short 
uh, you're only going to be able to either like slide to the side where I'm at. Right. So it's kind of a good thing for like where you got a guest that drops a nugget, you're already framed up to be able to do this very mm -hmm. easy. But you know, when you want to go to YouTube, it's going to be like either one or the other, probably. Got it. It's just like, you got to keep in mind how you frame things. So what I've been doing, I've been doing like side by sides, like, you know, how in Ecamm, we can put two uh, sources up, right? So you have mm -hmm. half and half. Yeah, that's what I've been doing. And I just depending on what the topic is, I will either go to the product or I'll go to my face. That is great. And you can also just cut it outside of, the, of that and upload it if you need to. Yeah, look at this. I'm doing it now from last night's video. So cool. Michelle. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I'm hey. so glad to hear it. We're, now, now our our reels can be quicker because with this tip, thanks yeah. to Mary Lou, like that's going to be great because we oh can my just, gosh, it's so easy. You could sit there like you're laying in bed. You're like, I just got to find a clip real that's quick. That's why I happens. don't even worry about it. You it's know. perfect. That's what happens. <laughs> That's a business takes place. <laughs> and Ben Lincoln's scrolling through. Scrolling through 